All right, one, I think one of the most interesting things about Jen, Missy Jen, is her love for wrestling. And I think that that is so awesome. Nobody really knows. If you knew, if you knew Jen's channels from before, or even uh, eight or nine months ago, you had a WWE, you had a World Wrestling Federation, WWF, or wrestling belts on your wall. Yes, I have the Divas Champion belt. I also have the World Heavyweight Champion title, the WWE title, and... And I think it's fascinating. US, US I think one of the coolest things about you is that you enjoy, like my mother always enjoyed pro wrestling and all that kind of stuff, and these these guys talking smack to each other. When did you first become interested in uh, in wrestling? Actually, I was still a teenager. My mom and dad watched wrestling. Uh, in Germany? In Germany. They really had wrestling in Germany, like this crazy American had, stuff? Uh, former. Well, I'm not sure if I can say the name, though. Yeah, you better not, but just would they the have. American Main Wrestling League. They had actually on once a week. Well, that's amazing. Uh, on TV in Germany. And my mom and dad used to go to Philadelphia when they lived in Jersey, and they actually would watch live events. And so because you grew up with with folks that were enjoying wrestling, you started becoming interested right. in too, because I thought one of the coolest things about you, and I was one of the few that probably knew that thing hanging on your wall by your window was a wrestling belt, like a champion belt or something like that. Yeah. So that's totally cool. And to this day, you still enjoy watching the wrestling and a couple years ago at your job where you worked, what did you do? You dressed up. Oh yeah, when I worked in the retail business, I dressed up as The Undertaker. For Halloween, right? For Halloween. And I painted the beard and everything. Now what was The Undertaker's big deal in wrestling? What was he all about? Was he just a spooky guy? That... He was like the really spooky guy, yeah. He was yeah. the guy that buried people alive and all that. Well, and I always found that fascinating. Well, I think it's fascinating. So you dressed up as the Undertaker, complete with the costume and everything, and they didn't recognize you with uh... I talked to my main manager of the store. She didn't recognize me <laughs> until I finally told her who I was. Well, and I've seen, I've seen pictures of it. It's an awesome, awesome, great job. So... Hats off to you. I mean, that's a really, really interesting part of you is your enjoyment because we're sitting here and it's uh, it's Saturday evening and tomorrow's my last day here before I shove off and I'm like, yeah, she's like, well, wrestling's on. I'm like, bring it on, you know, let's go. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy that. But I thought people might enjoy that side because only a few people know, like some people on Google Plus, that uh, how much you enjoy the... Uh, the whole thing in the pro wrestling. I and do collect also the figurines, mm -hmm. and I have about 200 figurines. Well, they got to be worth something too, some of those. Because uh, so, uh, I grew up with like Chief J Strongbow and some of these guys from the 50 yeah. Classy Freddy Vlassie and uh, the Grand Wizard of Wrestling and all these crazy guys. And Vince McMahon, when he was really young, would be out there, and uh, it was really a lot of fun. And I remember Andre the Giant and all. It was kind of fun. It always yes. seemed like Saturday afternoon the wrestling always came on. Well, thanks for sharing that. It is really cool. And it's just it's another side of you that just makes you dynamite. It's, it's outrageously cool. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome.